everybody. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back. If yes. you're new, this is Knitting in Our Jeans. Yes, yes. Um, welcome. If you're yes. new, sorry, we've had a long, long it's been day. been a very long day. We'll um, tell you all about it. But we want to And if to you're not new, welcome back. Yes, thank you for coming back. <laughs> Um, I'm Liz on Instagram and Ravelry. I'm to Liz for you, T O O L I Z Z F O R Y O U. And I'm Carolyn. I'm C P R E D M O R on Ravelry and sometimes rarely on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Usually I'm posting as knitting in our jeans. Yep. On Instagram. And sometimes I remember the hyphen C and sometimes I don't, but we do our best. And so everybody who was expecting us to be here yesterday. We thought we were going to be able to to do a recording while we were down in Alexandria. Only yesterday morning, everything kind of broke loose. Um, my dad went from being in a nursing home to being in the ICU unit at the local hospital. And, uh, yeah, everything went to, you know, wearing a handbasket. So we, every all, everything, yeah, he's, he's doing better. He was yep. severely dehydrated. Um, mm -hmm. There may be some impact on some of his organs, um, but he seems to be rallying at this point. Um, and they're talking about moving him out of ICU tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And then we're going to have to find a nursing home that has a higher standard of care, higher level of care than the one than the assisted living place he was in because he's just not drinking um so and he's not really eating anymore because he really can't right so it's this this really isn't a case where he's going to get a lot better but for the moment um his fever's going down he had pneumonia um and a lot of other things that were going on so right now we're here <laughs> We're here. Instead of yesterday. Good. That's right. Instead of yesterday, which is just fine. You know, he was rallying today, so we were able to see him today and then drive home. Yes. It was six hours. Um, and Mom was a trooper and drove all six hours. <sighs> it was Such a long a drive. Long drive. But we made it. We made you it. So with good. the help of candy bars <laughs> and, and, and tiny Oreos. Tiny, tiny Oreos. Yes. Thank goodness. And because of the hoop duty with my dad yesterday, one of my classes that was scheduled for tomorrow is going to be put off till Wednesday, so I can do my part for the class tonight so that they've got 24 hours to look at it. Um, but anyway, we will carry on. Yes, and we while will. we were gone, we were knitting. We didn't get to any movies, but we were knitting. No, no, so. we didn't get to any movies, but... We did watch the entire new season that's of right. Great British Bake Off we that's did. on Netflix yes. because we did. that's how we spent our evenings. That's exactly. So um, when we got out of the hospital and done talking to my mom and my brothers about what's next, um, we came back to the hotel and knitted away. And I was working on this. This is what my flipper did gibbet. Well, this is, can you reach down there and get the first one? Well, okay, so I thought it was going to have a pair of socks to show you this week. And as you can see, I've turned the heel on this, um, but I was playing yarn chicken. So what I did was I frogged back from about the equivalent of about here back to here and I have decided to, instead of making a medium large to make a small medium, which will be fine in terms of fitting my foot. This this part is still medium to large, and I think that that will get me enough yarn to finish the sock. So I'm very excited about that. I'm very happy about that. Um, but and I was working on it while we were away, and if you know, it's, just, it's on waist yarn mm -hmm. because my needle broke. Rather dramatically. Mm -hmm. I'm knitting away and next thing I know I just have a loose end and the, the whole circle thing is like over there someplace. So considering the weekend we were having I thought it was pretty calm and I grabbed some waste yarn and this is now on waste yarn and I will get back to it as soon as um, I get the work done for school. <laughs> 
So maybe by Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. And then, oh, I didn't bring the other sock up. <laughs> so she finished the sock that she was. Uh, I this this first sock, sock that I was making for my my design pattern. The first sock is finished and it's downstairs and I'm really happy with it. I, I'm really I'm very very happy with it. And so this is the second sock, and uh, I'm writing the pattern um, as I do the second sock. And so that'll be all set for classes, and I'm very excited about that. And then I will start doing the mini socks um, that we'll need for the classes. And I, so I think we're in good shape there. What's not in good shape is my nude, because I haven't done anything on my dress. Oh, it's well. Okay. Oh, well. It's you okay. know, um, I had been hoping to work on the dress this, you know, as of September 1st, today's September 3rd, uh, to start working on the dress. But... You know, again, maybe by Wednesday or Thursday we'll be get doing that. I think the miniature socks should only take me about three hours apiece. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, this is a good solid two days to finish. Um, and then I, I want to put in contrasting heels. And I'm not quite sure. You probably have some opal babies. Uh, oh, I have lots of opal babies, but I was thinking maybe... Uh, that gray that's over there. See that, that one? There. Yeah. You want to reach it? This one? Yeah. I think that. That'll look interesting. I think that'll be nice. Yeah. For a heel. Uh -huh. I think that'd be very nice. So, yes, that's what I was thinking. And that's enough to do the two heels. Well, that's good. So that'll be good. So I've been really up to my nose in socks. Um, but it's all good because I'm really happy with the design. I'm really very, very happy with the design. Um, it's a cable. Not all the cables are cabling in the same direction because they're going all over the place. The sock is going to be called Additions. Um, and I think that that fits uh, what the sock, what the cables are doing. They're, uh -huh. they're certainly adding as they go along. So I'm really very happy with that. We have, I think the last I looked, we have two seats left in our Rhinebeck class. So thank you, everybody, who signed up for it. And I found out that there's a couple people from Ravelry that are looking to meet us while we're up there. So I'm really excited about that. Yep, it should um, be good this year. Beanie and I should be at, well, aren't Yes, you? I'm Beanie. Yes, she's Beanie. I'm uh, Beanie. We'll be on one of those weekends. the Podcaster Hill, I think, between one and two. We have a class at two. So we're probably yeah. going to run. Um, we have pins left over from last year. Oh, we have a ton of pins. Well, we don't have a ton. They're over here, actually, in that bag. I think we have a good amount. We have a good amount. So we may do a little bit of what we did last year, which was uh, a giveaway if there's something on the back of your pin. So if you're going to Rhinebeck and you care, <laughs> uh, we'd be... I'm really happy to meet you and stick your hand in gently and pull out a pin because they are pins and then we'll look at the back and see if you're a winner. So that's something that we're planning to do. I didn't know we were planning on doing this again until right now. So, okay, cool. Yeah, but we're going to be at Indian Tangle. We'll be at Indian Tangle so, so we, can we can do that. Yeah. Certainly do that. Yeah. And do you want to talk about what you've been doing? Why don't you bring out your sock? Oh, my sock. My sock! Which is gorgeous. It is. So I've been doing the bicycle race in Rise Up by Blue Moon Fiber Arts on their sparkle base. Um, I think it's going to be a gorgeous sock. I think it will too. Um, so I didn't realize the back was textured for the 14 rows before you start the cable movement on the back. So my mom... <laughs> But she's not doing it for points. I'm not doing it for points, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I think it's... I, I really enjoy the flashing and pooling that's happening. Like the striping, yes. the diagonal striping. It's kind of fun. Um, I have tried it on. It does fit over my ankle and around my heel. Um, but... Maybe that's one thing I haven't tried with my sock. Well, because I haven't put the heel in yet. put the heel in. Um, one thing right, I no, did... Right now, it's a tube sock. <laughs> The only thing with this, um, I think it's due to the cabling and the fact that it's a lot of one-overs or two-by-ones, two that, two that it's 
not tight, but that's why it's hurting so much that to knit be. it. Yes. Um, I realized that I hold my yarn or my needle against the first knuckle of my ring finger on my left hand. And let's just say it was bright red uh, yes. after about 15 rows. Uh, the last, not yesterday, or not yesterday, um, on Friday and Saturday. I put on for this. I managed I to knit a hole in my finger. Oh, I knit a <laughs> hole in my thumb. Before I go home, I need to put a band-aid on it. Um, we'll find the band-aids. Yeah. So I ended up putting that away. And so I'm going to, let me finish this row on what I picked up and I will show you what I picked up at when we were in the hotel room. Oh, and you, you didn't bring the other thing I up. did. You did. I did. Okay. She, then she started something else and was knitting on it for six hours in the car. And then. So I started my Tanya. I started it. You want to know how it is now? Back in the ball. Because I cast, I, I swatched on threes. I was getting six stitches to the inch. I don't have fours in my pretty, pretty diacraft oh, purples. Oh, because that's the one that's because, got no, stuck. No, no. The sevens are the ones that are oh. stuck. I have the fours in my poetry in motion in the Leia colorway. Or the Carrie Fisher colorway. That's in the apartment. Speaking so, of... Do you remember the stitch markers that um, Meg Swanson had? They were kind of like, somewhat like safety pins, but weren't safety pins. These? No. They were like safety pins. Oh, but they had, they were just, they were just the, they didn't have the bulb at the end, but they also didn't have the curly cue at the end. No. And they, they had a, like a little wiggle in the middle. I'm trying to find those. So if anybody knows what I'm talking about, just... Put something in the down bar. Make a reply that you know. Maybe reach out. Try reach out to Amy Dutchin. Or? I could reach out to Amy because um, I'm trying to find those because or with this cable out. that I'm doing here, it would be so nice to have that because she was talking mm -hmm. about um, how she leaves them in her knitting mm -hmm. and then as she comes to it, it reminds her to do that next element in her pattern. And I. I can't find, but we got one in for the class. I can't find what I did with that, mm. of course. It's not um, in the little hat? No, there? it's not. Um, it, no, Me, those are regular no, safety No, no, pins. in the hat you were knitting, the oh. red and oh, red. Oh, 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 oh! Right there. <gasps> there. No, that's a regular safety pin. I think it, it was just a safety pin without the doodad at the back. Ah, yeah. you're right. Okay. Safety pin without a coil. So coil is safety oh. pin. So coil is just... safety pin. All right, so I will look that up. Meanwhile, I'm going to start using this here because I keep going past my cable. I thought it had a, like a little swirl no. or something. Okay, well, I'm going to be looking for coil of safety pins because that's going to be very helpful for me to know that this is where I need to be working on the cable on the foot part. Meanwhile, I've thought of another pattern. Good. Uh, so anyway, when I retire, <laughs> I'm going to be, be going like gangbusters, like a ha house of fire. Um. All right. So, so okay, we the, don't have. So a, I. What are you looking for? No. Oh. So now we don't have a panic anymore. Oh, I was going to say, do you need another stitch marker for that other no. project you just took that out of? No. No, because I want to do that as double knitting. Okay. My color work is terrible. Um, I'm sorry I, to hear I that. I can catch the floats and all that, but it's. It's not um, it's nice. not stretchy, yeah. which you know is by definition is what color work is. And um, mom doesn't do well with things that aren't stretchy. I don't like that. So double knitted, it not only has the, all mm -hmm. the colors, but it's stretchy. So I think this is the hat, and we had we were making up our own patterns, and I like it, but. As with color work, it really doesn't stretch. So I want to take it out and I want to do it in um, double knitting because then it'd be a nice stretchy hat. So I started my Amunjea out of my Rhinebeck 2016 skein, and I think it's Cluster of Stars or Purple Haze, something like that. That's gorgeous. Um, Miss Babs Yowza. Did yeah. I buy that? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> you have a skein of Katahdin, I think. Ah, or yes. Sierra or something yes, like that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, it's the, the brown one, mm -hmm. the more brown. <coughs> so, 
I am one row away from the beginning increase section being done and then I will work um, it straight. So, so I'm almost done getting it fully across uh, to the full length. I have one more row to do. So essentially this is the front and the back. So it essentially goes from shoulder to shoulder mm -hmm. as right now because it does. This goes all the way up here and then you do your shaping further down, um, about 22 rows down. Um, so I'll do that in a moment. But this is the back. So you start with the back and then you essentially repeat it on the front. Yeah, Very my cord's nice. a little short, but I prefer to work on shorter cords. Because um, then you're not trying, then to, I'm move not trying to move it around too much. Um, mm -hmm. But I do like it a lot. It's a six and then four um, kind of striped repeat kind of thing. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. I, like I really it. like it. I think it'll be really nice to wear. Um, in that vein... Nerd Girl just started or just opened uh, recently, like in the last two days, um, a knit along for sweater quantities. Oh! And it can be a whip, it can be not a whip, it can be Nerd Girl, it can be not Nerd Girl. Um, so go over and check it out. It's called the SQ, so Sweater Quantity Sweater Ish Cal. Um, what does it do to end? Uh, so you need to post your intent. Uh, as per the, uh, as per the guidelines that Krista posted in the first post, mm -hmm. um, by September 15th. Okay. And it is to be completed by December 31st. Okay. And essentially, um, at the end of September, end of October, and end of November, she wants you to post, um... Progress. Essentially, she wants you to kind of figure out where your 25, your 50, your 75 is, just to keep you, yourself on track. So I'm going to post my Zweig, because that still needs the rest of the sleeves and the body. I'm going to post this. I'm going to post the Tanya, because those are three things I'm going to get done. Okay. And then I might be absolutely insane and pull out one or two of my um, Other oldest, I was going to say oldest sweater quantities of Nerd Girl, and just say I'm going to knit these. We all know I'm only going to accomplish, you know, probably the whips. No. <laughs> Okay. I think I'll accomplish the whips. Okay. Because once I cast the tinia on, I can bring that, that can be my purse knitting. Yes. Um, so, we'll see. It's also really hot. Yeah, we turned the air conditioning off while we were gone, and there's no air conditioner in this room, so in order to keep it quiet, we shut the door, so it's really hot in here. Um, did um, you want to talk about the yarn that you got at well, Fiber I'm, Space? That's where I was going next. Excellent. So, boy, oh, did you didn't bring light? your fabric up. We'll talk about your the fabric. The fabric next hasn't week. been unpacked. Right, that's what I meant. Right. It's so, un unlike this, the other sock, which is just downstairs on the end table, the fabric has not been unpacked. We went to Stitch and Sew? Stitch Sew so Shop. Stitch Sew so Shop. On North Fayette. Fayette. In Alexandria. And I got two pieces of stretch rayon to make uh, shirts because the Agnes top that I made. From Tilly and the Buttons. Yes. With fabric from Mood. It's a blue and white stripe looking very French. Has rust stains on it from someplace. Um, I put it through the wash. I don't, I mean, I don't like mustard. That's the only other thing it could be. So I don't eat mustard. So I have no idea where these splotches came from, but I've tried, I'm now going to try Dawn on it. Um, I tried, when I saw in the hotel that I had these splotches on my shirt, I tried using some of the hand soap and a little bit came out, um, but it's all over the white part, of course. So we went to the Stitch Sew so so Shop and I got a pattern, which is really very nice. I'm really excited about that and two lengths of fabric to make two more Agnes tops because they're wonderful. They're really comfortable um, and I make the long sleeve ver version so I can wear them sailing and it's just a win, 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 win. So there was one more piece of fabric I would have loved to have gotten but they're in they're they're very specialty um, pieces. And yes, so. and they're expensive. So, and I haven't been sewing all that much, and I've got a couple conferences this fall, fall that 
are eating into my time because I have to mm -hmm. actually write the papers to present, as some of you know. Um, so, anyway, that's what we did. But then so, we went to the... we walked up to Stitch So Shop because we walk uh, up... Uh, we went from Duke Street. Up the diagonal. I think it's called Diagonal. Um, Could be. Can't, up to Stitch So. And then we walked back um, by Fiber, Fiber Space on Prince. And remember how I was going to use this in my Laura Ayler um, shawl that has the greens and blues? Well, it's lace weight. And I really want to make some beautiful, airy, or just, just beautiful, like, summer shawl out of it. So, I went in, and I found a dupe. Well, almost a dupe. Um, so, this is a fingering weight. This is Pichin... Pichinku, 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 which is an all-natural Peruvian yarn botanically dyed by women artisans in Cusco. Oh, really? Yes. So it is Taha sport slash fingering weight. It is 430 yards, 36 yards to 100 grams. It's 70% merino, 70% uh, merino, 30% mulberry silk. So that's very gives nice. It some sheen. Um and it's in the colorway Neblina. Um I'm pretty excited about it to go in the shawl. Um I'm gonna try it's and get close color. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get the sweaters done first and then maybe that will be what I bring to Rhinebeck to knit on. Um because I realized when I guess it was not yesterday, or we yes, asked when we were going to go out to dinner last night that I needed something that didn't have two two balls of yarn or um, was the socks to knit on. And then that's... Why, why was it? I didn't understand about the two balls of yarn. Because I didn't want to have to manage two balls of yarn in the restaurant. Oh, I see. Why were you had to swap them. Got it. Yeah. So... By that time, I was so fried from the day. I had no idea what she was talking about. I don't want something that's two balls of yarn anyway. But a sweater's more than two balls of yarn. But yeah. anyway. So that's when I did the swatch for the Tanya. I was thinking of casting on this shawl. However, you start with the... Uh, I thought you started with the lightest color. No, you don't. You start with the second to darkest color. So you start with color number five, and you which was in it. a skein. No, I had it. It was in a skein, and I really didn't want to oh. hand wind it. Okay. So that's uh, what I got at the shop. Um, but yeah, so I also did some cross stitching. Oh yes, again, it was a cross stitching. These theme. are. Uh, so these are for a swap. A swap. So wee wee. <laughs> um, How many more have to be done on that? I only have to finish the. I have to. I think this is the second to last color, and then I have to back stitch, and then I have to put the the little color there. Uh -huh. So I have three more colors, but not many more stitches for that guy. So it's the last. And then fish. it's the back stitching. So it's so, the last fish. They're only doing these two they, fishes. They, they, they don't know that they were... There's two things. Grr. <laughs> um, so I have the back stitching to do. Um, I have to send this out by, I believe, Friday. So I will be working, be like, Trojan. working like a Trojan, as my mother just said. Um, but then I also worked on my stitch along. I put in a little bit more of the flower details up there. I didn't get to any of the text. Um, that was from last year. That was from last year. They haven't announced. They haven't announced this year's yet. Oh. Um, but it's fun be for me because one of the girls at the office, um, Kiara. Um, also stitches, uh, cross stitches. So oh, cool. I'm like, hey, when that starts, we should do it. We should totally do it. So um, that'll be fun when that comes out. Um, and I'm actually really surprised that this Amumanjaya is actually like as, I don't think it'll, well, it's not going to increase, I'm not going to increase the amount of stitches anymore after this row. So this is a pretty manageable. That's really nice. Project. That's a DK or worsted? Uh, worsted. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So 
that is what we've been working on. And of course I brought, you know, we brought like many more things. Yes, we did. I, I also, was going to work on I mean, a dress, but I, I didn't. Yeah, but I, I also read three graphic novels while we were down there. It was a little um, chaotic. We, it was. Um, we got but, down there on Friday and I could have done a face plant immediately. You did. It just, I was so tired. So tired. And then you rallied after dinner. Yeah. And we watched from Great British Bake Off. And did some knitting, and then I face planted again about 10 o'clock. 10.30, yeah. yeah. So. And then Saturday was okay. Yes, Saturday my, my dad was sitting, was sitting up in a chair, didn't recognize me, responded to my husband. Responded to Nan. Yeah, and... Was okay. Was okay. Then And we thought maybe on Sunday he'd be a little more awake, and that's when... All he was loose. Yeah, he wasn't. Which is fine. Because um, we got them new. He them was kind of comatose. It's yeah. All good. It's all okay now. It is. Well, it's better. It's better now. Um, so, yeah. So, what else? What? The... <laughs> I had two uh, knitting magazines come in. I had Rowan come in. This is Rowan's 40th anniversary. And. They have taken some patterns that they have had for the past 40 years, and I'll show you the pictures, because several of these things, I think, are just Why did they, What else did we go through recently that was, like, 40 years? Was it another yeah. Rowan 40th? I have, don't know. Are they doing, like, multiples of them? I don't know. I don't know. This is Addison, and I could see that for a Saturday afternoon, just relaxing. It just looks... It's like a seed stitch... It's by Amanda Crawford. This reminds me of the Estonian lace uh, shawls. And it is a gorgeous lace. This is called Anise by Sean Miller. Um, this, I, you know, the half around a sand dune, and it really does look like a perfect sand dune pattern. This is Eviva. And look at that, that nice uh, color band at the bottom with the zigzag lace patterns and this is by Sarah Dallas. This is Fickle, a lovely cabling by Louisa Harding. Harding. Yes. And um, then we've got Flora by Kim Hargreaves, which is I think are lovely color combinations, really perky. Um, and then this is Flourish by Kim Hargreaves. And I particularly like the solid color. I'm not as fond of it as this way, but I think the styling is gorgeous, and I think it's a sweater that I could wear a lot. This is Franziska by Galena Carroll, mm. and this is not something I would normally wear, um, but I can see the enormous amount of design that's in it. So for someone who wants something that's oversized, it would be stunning. This is Geasley, I think. Um, G U I S L E L E Y by Sarah Hatton. And again, this to me is something I could probably wear to work. I could wear it on weekends. Oh, I love it. Um, so it's kind of going on my list of things that I should be making. This is Kintyre by Marie Wallen. There's another Marie Wallen in here that I really like. This, um, probably in other colors. I am not a fall color person even though my native coloring is for fall colors. But I think that that is gorgeous. But again, I'd rather have it double knitted rather than color work. Um, and this is Lydia uh, by Cafe Facet. It's amazing. It is amazing. All of his color work and his designs. Um, just it's great. This is Mist by Kim Hargreaves. Now, I, th I can see this is a suit top. Um, or a lovely jacket to take along and throw over everything. Yes. This is Rapunzel. And this, I, I really like. I don't know where I would wear it or what I would wear it with, with what I have in my closet at the moment. But, and this is by Jean Moss, who I do really love. This is Restful by Mar Martin Story. And it's a long, long, long cardigan with... Uh, cables galore, so something to think about. Snowberry, Sasha Kagan. Ah, kind of dark and wistful 
and the colors that it's been done. But obviously, any colors uh, can really make a change. Striven by Jenny Atkinson, and I have made her um, uh, robe dressing gown. Where is it? Why can't I get the, the shine off of this? There. Okay. So multiple colors, kind of a plaid. Very, very interesting. This is a Louisa Harding Tilly, and I like this. I think it would make it a little bit bigger and have it so it would overlap. Um, but I think it's really lovely and delicate. Beautiful. It's It looks like color work. My current bugaboo, not lace. So again, double knitting might be the way. Um, this looks like something that my grandmother would have worn. I like it, though. Like, it's not... It's not my style. It's not... This This would be something that you and I would be like, that is something we knit for an event. Yes. So... Um, so it's a Martin Story design, and it is called Valentina. Um, I like this. This is called Wentworth, and I really do like that a lot. Do you think that was pretty? Yeah. Um, here's Winter Flower. I like things with a little bit more shaping than that, but certainly an interesting design. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the back half of the book where there's a couple others that I really, really, really like. Okay, here we go. This is an Agnes by Kim Hargreaves, and I just love it. Just love it. So that is definitely something I want to make. Um, this is the Bressy Hap shawl, um, and I just it just makes me smile. I think that the colors are so vibrant. Somehow it reminds me of watermelon. Not quite sure why, but it does. This is a cafe facet. I do kind of love it. And I it's like I do kind of love it. That's not the green is just not me. Do it in like a dark gray <sighs> and like a light gray. That or even a pink and a gray. Yeah. You know, a, a dusky pink and a gray, that would be that would be me. Um, this is a Marie Wallen called Burgly. Burly, and I think that's a lovely sweater. There's another Marie Wallen that I really do want to make. This is a Martin Story called Celtic, and it is cables upon cables. Do you see those cables marching up and down each side? They're like epaulets. It's or or a military jacket. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. This is Dury by. Um, Lisa Richardson, and it's it's kind of a short poncho, you know, almost it looks almost like you put a cardigan over your shoulders, and I think for you know the spring and early fall, of course not today. Today it was like 95 degrees as we drove up from Alexandria. <laughs> it was only after seven o'clock that it got below 90 here. This is Flora McDonald is the name of the sweater by Sarah Dallas, and I love the pink. I really do. It just gives it such whimsy. And everybody oh, needs whimsy. a little whimsy in their lives. This is Game Board Jacket by Brandon Mabley. Again, this is too big for me, but for people who like things that are oversized, I think it's a gorgeous uh, yeah. mix of colors in here. Just fascinating. This is called Kirk Wall Wrap, and it's a plaid. And I want to read the pattern to see how they do that, because that is just gorgeous. Yeah. And those are, that's the pink and red and gray, or the pink and gray, or the red and gray that I just really do like. This is a Mar um, Kim Hargreaves, uh, really nice pattern cardigan. Uh, looks like cables that I would wear in a heartbeat. Well, that's Martha. This is also by Kim Hargreaves. Mm. Monty, isn't that lovely? Look at this. That, and it is down to your toes. Look at that. Lovely. Just lovely. A beautiful coat. Just a gorgeous coat. Here's another Kim Hargreaves. Olive. Look at that. A really nice jacket. I do like that too. A lot. A lot, a lot. That's probably color work to get that white going up, the stripe going up. No, you never know. 
I think I might uh, over embroider it. Mm -hmm. This is a very nice, um, I think, everyday garter. kind of card. It's Garter. Uh, Onza by Kim Hargreaves. And it just looks, I think, fetching. And I love the color she did it in. Really pretty. This is Orkney. Now, I love this one. This one's by Marie Wallace. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I like that. You know, I guess the purple and the pinks, those are more my colors. And then here's Kim Hargreaves with that pink and gray plaid coat. Again, this is too big and oversized for me, but I know a lot of people like that kind of thing. Um, whoops, I've got two pages here. This is something I am going to make. Me and my tunics. This is Marie Wallace, and the name of it is Plain Cellini. I love it. The original one was in off-white, and then they have this in purple, so obviously it's great in all colors, and it, I just love it. This is called Powder Puff. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. And then we've got Rubinia. This is also another Marie Wallace, and this one I really do like. It's got a little bit of a swing coat shape. And I like the um, design that they have. It's a big flower design that she's got in there. This is a sumac wrap by Lisa Richardson. And this, I think, is mind-bending. Just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Uh, this is Wayfarer, also by Lisa Richardson. Kind of a over-large cowl that you wrap around yourself. See? Mm -hmm. So... And that's it for the Rowan 40th anniversary. Did you want to talk 40 about 40 years, 40 iconic? No. Yes. Yes. There's... I want to find that spot, that jacket. Okay. Then my, my Vogue knitting came in. Yes. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's fantastic. So it's all about yeah. cables, color work. Look at that. Oh. Wait a minute, I just passed something that was in those colors we were talking about. Mm -hmm. look, yes. Look. See, and this goes to show you that when it's in the colors I like, I'll do anything. So yes, that's oversized, mm -hmm. would be a tunic, has little or no shaping, and I love it. What can I tell you? Not much, obviously. Not much. Another color work, really pretty. Obviously, I have to work on my color work since my color work is like no stretch whatsoever. Look at that. Look at that scarf. Oh, it's delectable. Absolutely delectable. There's just one sweater I'm not um, super fond of. Super fond of. This is Jacqueline Von Dillon's Pullover in hot pink. Oh, love it. But obviously, it can be done in any color. Obviously. This is a beautiful scarf shawl that has both, looks like lace weight all over. Oversized wrap worked in contrasting series of luxurious hand dyed kid mohair gossamer. Oh. A few more. Scarved shawls. Yes, yes. And then I do like I do like, I like both this. of them. I don't like the tassels. I don't like but the if you tassels. remove the tassels. I'm not crazy. If about you the remove tassels. the tassels, it looks perfectly yes. reasonable. Minus the tassels. Mm -hmm. With the tassels it looks very nineteen fifties to me. It, it looks this like, looks like it should be I named like fire. It. This is lovely. And then this I also that like a phenomenal. great deal. Um, and that is Amy Herzog. One is the first one, the one I called Fire, is Amy Gunderson. And the uh, next one is Amy Herzog. Herzog. Then we've got Mary Lynn Patrick and Yoko Hada. So this is Mary Lynn Patrick and Yoko Hada. Just gorgeous, gorgeous patterns here. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I know. I thought you would die. Just stunning.
you may have that in some kind of shimmer with Stellina. Uh, you could wear that out anywhere. Just mm -hmm. anywhere. We have a short dress. For me, it would be a tunic. Uh, I like the waist coming in with the cabling patterns. Yeah. Um, this is nice. Again, very casual, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Uh, I'd make for me. I'd make it a little longer and have it over my tights, and that's it for. It's a pretty great. It's wonderful. Magazine this I month. would run right out and get it if it wasn't already here. <laughs> you were you going to show them that dress pattern that I just bought? Yeah, I was. Okay. Um. So, on our way back, um, Christy Glass posted that. The Flying Yak was selling her original, I guess, or the pattern. I don't know. She posted a photo saying this is for sale, um, this Flying Yak pattern, which is gorgeous. It's called um, House Dressing. Yes. And um, Chantal Belise, Chantal made it. For her wedding. Yeah, she didn't want a white dress. And look at that. And she said for her wedding she wore a crinoline under it. Yes, there are photos of her with the crinoline under it. Look at that. Just stunning. With the houses. Ah, oh, it was just so cute. And so I showed it to mom and mom then immediately bought I it. Bought it. So I'm I'm super excited. I eventually want to make it. Uh, the top has ten different sizes for the top and two different sizes for the skirt. Um, it's a and nice fit and as two pieces in, and then they're seamed at the middle. Which gives um, it some stability. Yeah. So she knit hers uh, skirt first to get the majority of the knitting out of the way. Um, so I'm super excited because I might just knit it as a skirt. I don't know. I have to figure out, you know, what they're going to be, what the colors would be. But it's black and white, extremely gorgeous. Blue and yellow. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I like, oh. It's really nice. It's absolutely really gorgeous. Very nice. um, but yeah, so I think that's about it because we're both tired and we're I'm on a Yes. And we, we both work tomorrow. We both work tomorrow. Normally, I'm off on on Mondays, mm -hmm. so. But tomorrow's a Tuesday. Yes, it is. So we yes, have to go is. to work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you all uh, for coming by. We really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, for any of you those who are planning to take our class either at Knit in Roslyn or up at Rhinebeck, I can't wait to see you all. Yep. Um, certainly getting ready for the class, and um, I think that's about it. You too. All right. We'll talk Bye. to y'all later. Bye.